Good morning and welcome back to my channel and another vlog. This vlog is not going to be so long. Today is Friday and this vlog is going up on Monday. So it's more or less going to be the last three days of my vegan diet and then a little sneak snack about my next diet challenge which is going to be the four hour body that I'm starting on Monday. But uh, I'm back in Sweden and we have a lot of snow here. And uh, yeah, I just arrived yesterday um, night. So I still have not unpacked. This is my uh, clothes that are gonna go in my closet. I still haven't put them in yet. And uh, I just put some active wear on and I'm going to the gym. I don't know how I feel about this outfit though, but um, I decided that I'm gonna give this nude abs to be tights a shot in the gym. I honestly don't like them so much, but I'm gonna try them at least. And I'm just having like a red t-shirt on top. So I'm not crazy about this outfit, but I'm gonna try it out anyhow. That is what I'm gonna do now, and then I'm gonna do some editing. And uh, I'm heading off to my sister's house and having taco nights. So taco night, I had to prepare, since I know it's gonna be uh, minced meat, and my sister is eating vegetarian food at the moment, so she's gonna eat corn, but I know corn is containing some egg whites, so I cannot have it since I'm on a vegan diet. So I did go to the shop yesterday and I bought some soy taco thing. Uh, I don't like eating soy, but this is the first time I'm gonna eat soy. No, sorry, yesterday I think I had soy because I was starving when I arrived to Sweden and I didn't have any food at home, so I did actually have a burger, so that was kind of fast food. And they only had one option of a vegan burger, so I took that one. It was not so good, honestly, and it was very spicy. I don't know what they have done with it. For the taco tonight, I have prepared with uh, vegan cheese and uh, this soy taco like meat and instead of sauce i'm gonna do my own guacamole because i know she's doing sauce with like quark and like tzatziki and uh, instead of that i'm gonna do uh, like mashed avocado so let's see how this is going so um yeah only three days more on the vegan diet and i'm gonna upload on this sunday my like summarizing how i felt about the vegan diet but for now i'm gonna head off to the gym See you in a minute. gym and I had a really bad workout honestly I did take some footage uh, I did not film the whole workout I just took a few clips here and there as the cleaning lady were there cleaning the gym and she decided to be more or less in my spot all the time so I'm gonna see if any of the footage is okay or not but uh, I did not have a good workout I don't know I I struggle a little bit with my motivation at the time. It's not that I don't have motivation to go to the gym, uh, because I do, but it's just, oh, sorry for this, how I'm looking, a little bit sweaty. I haven't showered yet. It's just that what I feel is I go to the gym, but I don't get the feeling when I'm in the gym. It's like I am there and I'm doing everything, but I don't get like the, 
this feeling in the body and the mind and the muscle. I don't get like the 100% connection to my muscles. I don't know what it is. I think I need to, I know what it is, honestly. I think I need to structure my training a little bit more and actually set up new goals because at the moment I don't have any specific goals and I don't have any specific like schedule that I'm working towards at the moment. So I think I need to, because I'm just going to the gym and doing whatever at the moment and I feel like I need some more structure. I know that I get more motivation if I have structure. So I think I need to do that. Just put up a little more structure and work out what I want with my training at the moment. I, I know that I want to shred my body a little bit but that is pretty much it. I need to have more goals. I, want, I don't want this to be like a negativity. I just want to show reality that Everyone is not 100% motivated all the time. It's happening to everyone that motivation is lacking a little bit sometimes and it's just normal. It's happening to everyone, I can promise you that. And It's nothing crazy, nothing wrong with that. So I'm gonna jump in the shower now because I'm sweaty and then I'm gonna see what I can find for eating. I mean, I do have some nice fruit here. I maybe take some fruit and I mean, I think I'm gonna do like a pot with beans and things I will see. Here is by the way the Hey Troy that I bought from Taco tonight. This is like taco soy like meast soy I don't know what to call it. And I took this like chili cheese and this is uh, it says dairy free, soy free, lactose free and gluten free. So this is Completely vegan. It contains coconut water and coconut oil and yeah, so um, I Think I will be good with this For dinner tonight at my sister's place, but for now, I don't really know what I'm gonna eat. So I uh, think I'm Heading in to the shower. What's the time? the time is 11:30. so I'm gonna break my fast in like half an hour. So it's good. I will shower and then break my fast so See what I come up with. Out from the shower and my friends, I have normal clothes on. I bet my sister is gonna have a shock when she sees me because every time I go to her place, I always come in like active wear, leggings, hoodie. I never have sophisticated like normal clothes on, even though my, my jeans are ripped though, but I do have a blouse on. So I um, went through my kitchen and I decided that I'm gonna have oatmeal. So I'm gonna break my fast with oatmeal. And I took a little bit longer in the shower. I washed my hair, I took my time. So I think I'm gonna break my fast 12.30 because it's... Oh, my sister is calling. Hello. Meanwhile, I'm waiting for my oatmeal to get ready. I'm gonna have uh, two rice cakes with my homemade nut butter. Is I think it's uh, pecan and uh, macadamia. And... This one is going crazy. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's like, it's not a microwave. It's an like specific oven where you can steam vegetables and things in. I hate it. See, I didn't even, even turn it on and it went on. What is wrong with you? I hate when things are not working the way it should. This is just so yummy, I hope. Chia and oatmeal with berries, nuts and pumpkin seeds. Yummy, yummy. So, I just finished a vegan diet as you saw in my previous videos, I hope. So today is the start of the second diet in my diet challenge and it's gonna be the four hour body diet. So I wanted to give you a little bit of information so you know what the four hour body diet is about. And I think the four hour body, the name of it comes from, from the book that Timothy Ferris was writing and uh, I have been reading that book and in this book he describes how he was working out four hours per week. No, it was even four hours per month. I think it was one hour every week and he got this amazing result and that is why that book got the name for our body. I don't know if this diet has a specific name but this is the diet he's presenting in the four hour body book. That is why I'm calling it the four hour body diet. I don't know if that is the correct name. So as I said, the founder of this diet is, his name is Timothy Ferris. He's also called Tim Ferris. 
And uh, basically what he is presenting in this book is honestly very, very similar to how I am eating on a regular basis. So it's not including so much dairy and non, no gluten and it's basically based on no calorie counting, no restricting and it's more or less like eat as much as you want from this kind of food stay out of this kind of food and you can eat sometimes this kind of food so you have like three different lists and uh, you're you're supposed to following this six days a week and then the seventh day you are supposed to eat whatever you want so it's like a sheet day normally i am not working with traditional sheet days i mean i have some days when i'm eating more some days when i'm eating less but usually i'm not like junking in junk food one day a week but I'm gonna do it for this experiment because this is part of, of everything in here. Uh, just a little side note, in this 4 hour body book he's also presenting that he's taking some supplements to complement this diet and it was some green tea extract, some um, garlic capsules, it was some, some like nature extract. Uh, I'm not gonna take the supplements because since I want to put all of these diets back to back I also want to just put the effort in the food so nothing like around it and uh, so let's dig right into what you are allowed to eat what you are not allowed to eat and what you are allowed to eat in moderation i will also put in the description box down below the do's and the don'ts so i'm reading from my notes here so i don't miss anything it says eat as much as you want from different protein sources and it can be lean meat chicken tuna um, and eggs. From the protein sources, you can choose from any protein sources that are not processed food. So like meatballs and sausages, they are out of the game. He says that for quicker results, stay to the lean meat and fish. And eggs, it's gonna be a lot of eggs. I do miss eggs though, after the vegan diet I miss eggs. So, uh, And chicken. So eat as much as you want from these protein sources. When it comes to carbs, he says eat as much as you want from like the slow carb sources like beans, lentils, vegetables. So it's going to be a lot of vegetables and stay out of everything that is high in starch like a potato. And I think some underground vegetables are okay like carrots for example and I know meats are okay but uh, sweet potato and potato and rice and pasta and those kind of starch are not okay. So it should not be so high in carbs. Even if it's higher in carbs, it should be low in glycemic index. That is what I think he's after here. Uh, so all type of vegetables are okay. And he says maximum half an avocado a day. When it comes to oils, olive oil, coconut oil, are okay but you should stay out of butter and other plant-based oil like sunflower oil and that, those kind of oil and the olive oil you should use like pure and maximum like one tablespoon a day it also says that you should stay out of dairy but a little bit of quark or cottage cheese is okay in moderation so here is like the moderation part. The protein and the carb sources is the ones that you can eat as much as you want from and the vegetables and you should have the oils in moderation. The quark and the cottage cheese should also be in moderation so don't like consume it to every single meal. And it's also allowed to have one to two glasses of red wine every single day. I'm not gonna have that because I'm not drinking wine so often maybe i will have it once a week or something i'm not gonna take the opportunity because it's including in the diet is completely optional but you are allowed to have one to two glasses of red wine every day if you want to then of course you should stay completely out of all kind of processed food and this is including everything that comes in pre-packaged all have fabricated food and all processed food are out of the picture so you should stay out of all like fried food and uh, fast food of course we made hamburgers everything that is pre-made you should stay out of and as i said you should stay out of dairy so dairy is a no-no the only thing that is okay is quark and cottage cheese in moderation all white carbs so everything that is processed and that is higher in carbs this is including oats rice pasta bread of course and um, potato sweet potato as i said before so everything that is high in carbs even though it's good carbs 
they are not allowed. Another thing that is not allowed is fruit. So you are allowed to eat a little bit of berries, but no fruit. So berries should also be in the moderation part, but fruits, no fruits at all. And of course, a big no is everything that has to do with sugar. So everything sugar related is a big no, no. And all other drinks are also on the don't list. So everything that is not one or two glasses of red wine or pure water is not including. And the only thing that is an exception is if you drink coffee or tea. So coffee or tea are okay, uh, but everything else, sodas, juices, everything is a no. Yeah, so that is pretty much it. But once a week, it's included that you should have a sheet day and you should eat and enjoy everything that you are craving during the weeks. So which day you can decide yourself if you want to have it on the weekdays, if you want to have it on the weekend, whenever you want to have it, if you have a wedding, a party, something coming up, you can schedule your sheet day on that specific day. But once every week you're allowed to more or less bench eating and eat whatever you want. So yeah, that is more or less the rules for this diet and I'm starting today. So this is the first day and it's not so different from how I am eating on a regular basis, honestly. So I think this out of all of the diets are gonna be the least hard for me. Let's see. So yeah, I'm excited to start this diet now and see what these two weeks are bringing me. But uh, yeah, anyhow, this is gonna be the end of this vlog and this little shit chat on the start of the four hour body diet. And I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, and if you do want to follow my journey on this diet challenge, this is on diet number two. I have seven diet. I cannot even count. Seven diets that are coming up on my diet challenge. And if you do want to follow my journey, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. But I have a total amount of six videos coming for me on this channel every single week. So with that being said, I just hope I see you guys in my next video. Bye.